Okay, now I'm done. I uh, lined everything perfectly and such. <coughs> yeah, so now when you're done, it should look, look something like this. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, now that that's over with. Hold up, I think I saw something weird here. Oh, never mind. So now we go back and so we have to pause a lot to talk to somebody. Yeah, anyway. Oh that's weird. It should not be over there. Let's move this to the center. Right there. Okay, now we um finished this whole thingy. The symbol. So now inside is the animation and outside you see one frame. So when you export, oh yeah, by the way, to export, you press control, enter. Or you can just go to um, control and test movie. But, um, t press control, enter, and you'll see the export, which is this. Sonic running like a maniac. So now that that's over with, we want to make it go across the screen instead of just staying there in one little spot. So first... Let's flip it so we can go from left to right, flip horizontally, and go, and now he's flipped. So let's move him all the way over here. What you want to do is pick a number amount of frames. I'm going to choose 10. Press insert keyframe, or you can press F6 for, um, for a shortcut, which is I, what I usually do. So press here. Okay, before anything, I would, there's a difference between a frame, which is it, which is, come on, that blank thingy, which you press F5 for, and a keyframe, and a keyframe, and a blank keyframe, which is really obvious what that is. A keyframe, pretty much is where something different actually happens. These frames are basically to extend the keyframe. That's all uh, these frames are for, so... These frames are just gonna have the same exact thing the keyframe has. If you want something different, you have to press a keyframe and change what's inside. So, click insert keyframe or F6. I gotta pause again. Alright, back. Um. Okay, now that we got that over with, we're gonna. What we're gonna. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Well, you'll see. What you wanna do is create a motion tween. Motion tween is pretty much your make it go from one place to another on its own without you having to press another keyframe move a little another keyframe and move it another little bit um, and stuff so you just press you right click it and press create motion tween do not use shape tween you're probably never gonna want to do that so just click create motion tween you'll see this it should like this it should look like this hold up cut it should not look like this Okay, so it shouldn't look like that. There's also something else I want to tell you. Um, in a keyframe, you have to make sure you're only tuning one object on its very own layer. Everything should get its own layer. Make sure you're only tuning one object on the layer. If there's enough something else there, it's gonna mess up the tween, and you don't want that. So make sure each um, tween is only tweening one thing alone. Make sure there's only there's only one object on that layer. Okay, so this will be obviously be the beginning of the tween, meaning he, this is where he starts. Here is where he ends. So if you want to end up here at by the end of the tween, let's use the arrow keys. 
right here then you move then you edit the end the last frame of the um of the between if you want them to start somewhere else you edit the first right now you press enter this um to see what will happen just press enter so you can test it in the fla itself fla um you test it and you press enter and hold on i want you to see everything you press enter and watch sonic went across the screen i don't this that these two sonics is just because of the record um the cam st two studios not because of flash don't worry about it this won't happen to you if you press enter and he's gonna go across the screen hold up i gotta pause um yeah anyway so he goes across the screen hold up uh great so he goes across the freaking screen <coughs> now what here's the difference between the downside of a movie clip symbol let's make this longer so you can see it better when you when you tween them you're only gonna see that same the pose of the very first frame on the on on the movie clip you only see this pose it doesn't mean you messed up it's just it's just what a movie clip does you only see the first pose on a stage so if you want to ever want to make it interact properly you're gonna have to look inside check which frame does what then go outside and match it with the proper frame now if this was a graph a graphic let's let's change this into a graphic let's delete all this who oh. anyway uh yeah um, yeah anyway what the oh my god go away away <coughs> Let's delete this last frame. Now there's nothing there. Let's come on. You pan here already. Go. Come on. Okay, there you go. Um, change it to graphic. Just um, right click on the symbol in the library and just go to um type, and then go to graphic. Change it to graphic. Oh my God. Graphic. Now it's the graphic symbol. Here's what. Here's the difference. Don't replace. Here's the difference. You let's just put a couple of frames. In a graphic symbol, he, you will see his movements on the stage, on the workplace. So as you go along, you go to the next frame, the fifth frame, you're going to see Sonic move in a different position. Like, hold on, I'll just press enter so you can see it. You actually see him move right here, so we between him. Let's do a tween again. Move Sonic all the way over here. Over here, and that's for him. There, motion between that. Oh yeah. And by the way, if you want to ever make a keyframe longer, just click in uh, on the keyframe or inside the keyframe length thing. You can press F5, or yeah, just press F5 to ever extend the key. Uh, okay, back now. See. Sorry, um, somebody's playing my 360, so you'll hear you'll hear Left 4 Dead. Anyway, um, what the what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, graphics. As you tweet him, you will actually see him. You actually see his body moving, and on the stage where I'm a movie clip, you won't. And you also see it in the export, but the problem, the the downside uh, to graphics is that no filters, no and no action scripting. So if you're ever gonna do something with um action scripting, or you want to blur or glow or something with a filter, you can't do it with a graphic. That's the that's the only downside. But this is what makes it a lot easier for you to work with, because you can see it as it moves, and yeah, it helps a lot. That's what I'm pretty much trying to say. There's another technique you can use to still, um... Oh my god, that's loud. Is... Oh, wait, 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 never mind. It's not gonna work. Forget it. Okay, so, yeah, we just made Sonic move across the screen by tweeting him. That's basically the first lesson done. You can move it around. We can make him go up. And we can make him turn as he does it. 
or change. Yeah, this is also for size or turning and stuff. So look, he'll actually turn. Or if you want to make him bigger at the end of the tween, he'll actually get bigger. See? So that's the first lesson. See you in. Shut up.